Guten Morgen. Good morning and welcome to Security Essen 2014. We are here at the stand of Siemens looking at the arc fault detection device. And I'm welcoming Rolf Scheidig. Good morning, Mr. Scheidig. Good morning, Mrs. Brüner. He's marketing manager, low voltage products, and expert for this topic. Mr. Scheidig, what is an arc fault detection device? Well, an arc fault detection device is similar to the well-known residual current circuit breaker, but it reacts to dangerous arc faults. I would like to show this here. We've got a model here. Now, this is the conventional setup, the way that it is done in the distributor boxes. Now, here we have a distance of sparks developing. I will put this on and then look how the two devices react. Down here, energy is counted, energy burned, and as you can see, starting from 500 roll, the fire can develop. Our both known detection devices are not reacting, and just here, the arc fault detection device comes into play. I shall do a setup. Now you have to be very quick to see what happens. Already at 25 joule, the device will safely disconnect the circuit. And I think this is not irrelevant, because about a third of all fires have electrical causes. How do arc falls happen? An arc fall happens like this. You have a two-wire connection, and if this is interrupted in one place, you have sparks flying. As we saw just now, you'll have an arc fault, and this is very dangerous. Imagine you have a wire within a wall and you want to put in a nail, or if you have plugs, if you have a disconnected plug, a loose connection, or outside you have a wire that has damaged by rodents, or maybe that has been weakened by environmental influences like radiation from the sun, it gets a break, then you'll have this effect, small cause, big effect. How do they work? An arc fault detection device has an inbuilt processor constantly monitoring the current and measuring the high frequency electromagnetic noise and the interruptions. And there are a few additional criteria. And if all those are given, he will within split seconds shut down the current. But you also have some non-dangerous arc faults, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I think you might have used an electric drill. If you look into the ventilation slots, you will see sparks flying. That is typical for a non-dangerous arc fault. So within the household, where you use electrical motors like in the vacuum cleaner, the hair dryer, the dishwasher, but also in a dimmer or a different switching power supply, there might be non-dangerous arc falls, and there you don't want the current to be interrupted. Now, our arc fall detection device can clearly distinguish between dangerous and non-dangerous ones and shuts off the dangerous ones. Yeah. Are there areas where the arc fall detection device is especially helpful? Well, generally spoken, of course, you can have arc falls everywhere, that's very clear. But I think where you want to protect certain persons, like children, or in public space, in kindergartens, or in a senior folks' home, or everywhere you have especially uh, fire dangerous things and that are not watched over, there it is very helpful. Also, if you have especially precious assets, like in museums and libraries, those are very different types of buildings. Can you install the arc fault detection device everywhere? Yes, that's very easy and also saves space. It doesn't matter if it's a new building or an existing equipment or an old building. Especially in the old buildings, it is most interesting because the danger for serial arc fault happenings is especially big. We offer these arc fault detection devices in two models. One is a combination of the arc fault detection device with the residual current circuit breaker. The other one has these two plus a special fault current detection device. So in this way, your equipment has the best possible protection. Mr. Scheidig, thank you for your information. Let me wish you a successful day at the fair today. 
and thank you for watching.